assalamu alaikum today we will discuss the histology of the gastrointestinal tract this is my first lecture about the gastrointestinal tract gastrointestinal tract which is also known as the git with structures included in the gastrointestinal tract it starts from the very beginning from the mouth then esophagus stomach then whole intestines we include in the gastrointestinal tract we also study beside the, the, these structures uh, the associated glands which are liver pancreas and the salivary glands firstly i will tell you just the basic outline of the git tract there are basically four layers which you will find in every organ or structure of the git tract the first layer is the mucosa second one is submucosa third one is muscularis externa and the fourth one may be serosa or adventitia it depends upon the location of the git tract these are the four layers you, you will find in every organ of the git tract uh, besides some differences you will find but the basic outline will be this so first we will discuss the mucosa what are included structures included in the mucosa Mucosa include number one is the epithelium. Epithelium can uh, vary in different organs. Next, we will find the lamina propria, and third one we will find muscularis mucosae. We will discuss them one by one. One, what are these structures? Mucosa. So. Mucosa contains almost three structures, epithelium, lamina propria and muscularis mucosa. What is included in the epithelium? Epithelium, you know, uh, what is this? Is the closely opposed layers of cells resting on the basement membrane. And in different structures, there will be the different epithelium. For example, starting from the mouth, you will find stratified squamous keratinized epithelium. But in case of esophagus, it becomes non-keratinized and in the stomach, it becomes simple columnar. So, it will vary in different organs and in different locations of the GIT. So, first structure is the epithelium. Second one is the lamina propria. What is lamina propria? This is the connective tissue layer where you will find some blood vessels uh, or some glands also. And the third component of the mucosa is the muscularis mucosae. Muscularis mucosae is a single layer of muscles you will find in the mucosa. So, this was all about the mucosa. Second structure we will find in the GIT tract is the submucosa. What is submucosa? Is again it's a connective tissue layer where you will find nerve plexus. Which nerve plexus is there? The nerve plexus present in the submucosa is known as the Meissner nerve plexus. Meissner nerve plexus. Okay, and you will also find here the blood vessels, some cardiac glands here. But basically, the nerve plexus you will find here is the mes nerve plexus. Third layer is the muscularis externa. It mainly consists of two layers. Which two layers? It has inner circular, while outer longitudinal layer. So, in the GIT tract, you will find inner circular and the outer longitudinal layer of the muscles. It can be smooth muscles, skeletal muscles, it will also vary in different locations. But basically, you will find muscularis externa under two headings in all the GIT trap. So, the last layer is the, uh, but uh, yes, we uh, skip the first one point. You will also find a nerve plexus, which is very important and it is located between the inner circular and the outer longitudinal layers. This nerve plexus is known as the myenteric nerve plexus. Myenteric nerve plexus. So, in the muscularis externa, between the inner circular and the outer longitudinal, you will find the myenteric nerve plexus. But keep it in mind that in some mucosa, you will find the Meissner nerve plexus. So, myenteric nerve plexus is also known as the Orbeck nerve plexus. Orbeck. Both are the same way. Now, these two nerve plexuses, Meissner nerve plexus and the myenteric nerve plexus, these are, these constitute, accumulatively uh, constitute an enteric nervous system. Enteric nervous system of the GIT tract. And this system is different from the autonomic nervous system. 
which include the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. But in GIT track, all the swallowing and the digestion process are under the enteric nervous system, which is formed by the mesonal nerve plexus located in the submucosa and muscularis externa located between the uh, in the mitaric nerve plexus, which is present between the inner and the outer longitudinal cell layer. So, the last layer is the serosa or adventitia. First, you should know what is the difference between the serosa and adventitia. If we uh, look about the serosa, uh, serosa is just a connective tissue layer lined by the simple squamous epithelium, which is known as the mesothelium. So, if the connective tissue layer is uh, covered by the simple squamous epithelium, which is known as the mesothelium, then we call it as serosa. If we remove this mesothelium, then it is known as the adventitia. In some places where the organs of the GIT tract are suspended in the abdominal cavity or have the mesenteries or are lined by the, uh, the structures which are lined by the peritoneal cavity, where you will find the serosa. So, but in other uh, locations, for example, esophagus, where the structures are not attached to any one uh, structure, then you will find the adventitia. You will just draw the connective tissue layer with blood vessels and the fibroblasts, nerve cells. Okay, so this was the basic outline of the GIT tract. We uh, can revise it mucosa, submucosa, muscularis externa, serosa, or adventitia. Mucosa contains three layers epithelium, lamina propria, muscularis mucosae. It is just a single layer of the uh, muscles. Submucosa contains connective tissue layer with blood vessels and the very important nerve plexus which is known as the mesonal nerve plexus then we have the muscularis externa which includes inner circular and outer longitudinal muscle layers and between these two layers you will find the myenteric nerve plexus or known as the orbex nerve plexus and these two plexus constitute the entire nervous system of the GIT tract and the last layer you will find the serosa or adventitia serosa you will find uh, in different locations where the structures are suspended in the abdominal cavity or where they are mesenteries or peritoneum and in the other structures where for example the esophagus you will find the adventitia this was all about the basic outline of the GIT tract other structures you will find in um, and we will also discuss all the digestion process of the GIT one by one in my further lectures thank you